Is it weird that I want Zoro and Ryuko to be shit? It's so bad. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what is going on, Flame Squad? It's your girl Nami Dead, the prettiest, the sexiest, and the hottest player here on the Ultimate Tower Defense. And guys, we are on fire, literally on fire, on getting some of those units that we missed for the last two updates. As you guys can see, I am now equipping two of the newest, well, they're not the newest, but two of the new mythicals that we have here on this game. That's going to be Zoro and, of course, Ryuko. But anyway, guys, before we get started, make sure that you've already subscribed to our channel and, of course, to our main channel as well, Snow, even though I hate Snow RBX, but yeah, subscribe to him because he might cry. And, of course, burn that thumbs up button if you don't want me to burn you. Anyway, guys, I just got Zoro from this banner as well, like... There he is. I mean, I was so lucky that early this morning I got him. As you guys can see, there's nothing really special about this, but I'm not sure, guys, if it's actually worth it. But yeah, let's not try to see if Zoro and Ryuko are actually OP. And we are now back again here on the Trust District. And I guess I'm just going to start this run by using this all might and also spider 2099 and i'm just gonna click easy by the way guys are you a fan of zoro if you are then <laughs> name all his attacks and actually we might have a problem here oh yeah i also got escanor actually but yeah i think that i forgot to equip him and for those who actually told me guys that escanor is better than all might i think that they are good in different ways. Uh, I think that All Might still has the a better range. Well, not really a better range to be precise, but it's just the fact that when it comes to All Might, guys, there's kind of like an explosion, and that explosion range is really, really good. But for now, I think I'm just gonna put some Aquaman as well. Well, that was really fast. Okay, we now have here a maxed out Aquaman and Prestige 5 Aquaman is so, so, so good. All right, it's now about time for us to play. So oh, oh, wait. Mm. This is triggering me. Why is Zoro eating his blade? Come on, man. I'm, oh, bro. I'm gonna tell this to the developers. Who's the modeler of UTD, guys? Come on, man. Zoro. I feel bad for this Zoro. Look at that. <laughs> He's in pain right now. Oh, well. Kidding aside, you will be needing 500 cash only to summon Zoro. And as you guys can see, he will be damaging 488 per come on 2.2 seconds cool down and i'm just gonna upgrade our muzan here just to make sure don't want to lose and reset this run okay so let's go back to zoro and let's just try to max him out and huh 4474 damage okay his cooldown is not really that impressive he it is good 1.2 cooldown and i am guessing guys that he's gonna be like uh what was it single target unit and too bad that i cannot really place him here okay there you go yeah this is gonna be a single target unit pretty obvious pretty obvious and i think i'm just gonna place zoro here as well i wonder how many zoros can we actually place oh my god four thousand dang but his range is so bad though yeah, his range is pretty small, so his cooldown is uh, kind of meh as well. But actually, guys, if you'll place like a lot of Soros next to each other, and if you got Carnage or maybe Spider-Man 2099, just to slow down those enemies, I think that that would be really good. Wait, you cannot place Tower here. So far, we now have four Zoro. Okay, so it's confirmed, guys. We can place five Zoros and one in the battlefield so that's good yep five zoros will be the max guys and i think that even though he's only gonna be a single target unit as long as you have carnage i think that it will kind of mix up for it as you guys can see look at that 30k hp is just nothing for our zoro okay he's not really that op if i may say but he's also a good mythical yep look at that guys oh Zeke is having some flashback. Hashtag Levi attack. 
All right, so I'm not gonna replace our Zoro here by our Ryuko. So you'll be needing Fire Rate as well to summon Ryuko, and she will only be damaging 123 per 1.8 cooldown. Okay, that stinks. So at max, Ryuko will be damaging 1.1 cooldown, but her damage is only gonna be like 1,100 as well. Let me just check what's happening here. Come on, give me some more gold so that we will have a max out moves on. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay. Well, 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 we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. We're gonna. Oh, come on. That's cheating. <gasps> All right, guys. We are back again. Aw, oh, that was really bad though but yeah i already brought our escanor here at least you already have seen the power of um zoro so i hope that we would be able to deal with this without zoro i think yeah i think that we're good we're good boys we are good okay i'm just gonna place our spider here actually guys the spideys like carnage spider 299 those units that can slow the enemies are really good not gonna lie because i think that they are kind of like essential as well because it's like it's like erwin on astd his effect is like multiplying the DPS of your units because slowing your enemies down will give your units more time to hit them. And especially for those units, kind of like um, kind of like All Might, like his, his range is not really that good, right? But because of our slower support, our All Might can hit multiple times, like more than two to three times, to be honest. Look at that, 26 HP only by one max All Might. Okay, so going back to Ryuko, guys, let me just sell this. You'll be needing 500 cash to summon Ryuko and she will only give you 123 damage per 1.28 seconds and it seems that yeah she is a full AoE unit I think. Yep I think that she is a full AoE unit which is good because that would explain why her damage is a lot lower compared to Zoro. Zoro can also hit one unit like he's only a single target unit. You see, if there will be like runners, I think that Ryuko would only be able to hit them once because of her cooldown. And I think that's also the reason why, another reason actually, for you to always have Carnage, Spider 299, just to support your units because those runners are really annoying, not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna place like, oh yeah, I'm gonna place like Escanor here. And speaking of Escanor guys, Escanor is not really like All Might. Most of the time, I just uh, also notice it. Escanor can only hit like um, two to three mobs at a time. But for All Might, depending on the position of the enemies, All Might can actually easily hit all of them at once. So, so that's the reason why I mentioned earlier that they are both good in their own way. But yeah, I think that. Oh, wait, Ryuko. How many Ryukos can we actually place? If we can place like five Ryukos, then that's okay. She's not really as good as Shazam. That's for sure, but definitely guys, she will also give you a big boost. So yeah, you can just place five Ryuko as well. I'm not really gonna recommend for you guys to get Ryuko and also Zoro. They, they're good, but I think that they cannot be in the meta right now. There you go guys, that is the power of two of the newest mythical here on Ultimate Tower Defense, Zoro and also Ryuko. Anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys. Do not forget to leave a like and of course subscribe and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Stay hot. <laughs> Peace out.